This video is called a sideline hip slide. We want to work on getting the hips to move independent of everything else. So I want just this top leg to move. So we're going to set up with knees at hip, hip and knee at 90 degrees. So you're going to feel that you can plug your feet into the box or a wall or whatever you want to use for that. Uh, you can use a small ball here. Um, you can also just put a towel in there that feels like it can slide back and forth. Uh, one of my favorites is using toilet paper because uh, everybody's got some. Um, so we can just kind of slide those hips. So from this position, you want to stay nice and long, hips and knees at 90. And all we're going to do is take this top leg and you're going to slide it forward and backwards as far as you comfortably can. I don't want you to strain to drive it more forward. I don't want you to strain to push it backwards. You might feel that when you push your knee forward, you might feel a little bit of hip and glute. When you bring the leg backwards, you might feel a little bit of inner thigh helping you do that. Those are just the muscles that help guide the hip and that should feel lightly effortful. But again, we're not looking for struggle on this. We're just looking for a smooth, easy motion. Just take easy breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth as you're working through these and just kind of slide that hip back and forth. 